over the last 20 years or so, people have increasingly found that they can't repair things. What we hope is that we decrease the waste, that we decrease the amount that has to be extracted long term from the planet, and that people actually get the experience of and the pleasure of making something work for longer and enjoying the process of repairing as well. We're just contaminating our environment by continually buying new things and dumping things that are no longer working. Small electrical things are coming in. Somebody brought a toaster in this morning, lamps that have disconnections in them. So where electrical parts have come adrift um, or something has got stuck and needs freeing up, those sorts of things are coming in. These headphones were presented to us uh, as not working and as you can clearly see once dissembled that the, there is uh, some cables that are disconnected. This may well be uh, the majority of the fault. Okay, I've reattached the, uh, the cables, the broken cables, back onto the circuit board, uh, soldered those on. Now I can reassemble the case around the printed circuit board. With clothes, it's more about where things have worn, but somebody has a very favourite item of clothing that is extremely useful to them, and they actually want it patched in some way. Okay, so we are currently working in the engine room in Bridgewater, so we are the Bridgewater Repair Cafe. There will be other repair cafes that, that um, open up in different places around this county and parts of the country. And we have decided to open on the last Saturday of every month. And at the moment, in the winter hours, we're opening between 11 and 2. Finished. <laughs>